Hi, Jeff Ludy, the owner of Houston Window Experts. Thank you so much for watching this video. Today I want to talk to you about the Windsor Pinnacle Contemporary Narrow Profile Sliding Door. We have a lot of people who have heard about Windsor, a lot haven't, and today I want to show you a little bit about Windsor, tell you a little bit about who they are, and talk to you about this particular option of door that we just got done installing. Now you're probably looking at me and thinking, Jeff, I know you're in Texas, why are you wearing a jacket? Hey, we do have winter like three days a year, and today it's like, a, it's a very cold 52 degrees out here. So um, obviously I have to wear my jacket. Now before we get started, I wanna tell you about jeffslist.com. You know, we started this video channel and people all over the country started asking, Jeff, I wish I was in Houston, you know, cause I'd love for you to take a look at my project. But unfortunately we only work in the Houston area. So people started asking me, hey Jeff, um, do you know anybody in my area that's a good window company? And the truth is that I know, I know lots of window dealers, great window dealers all over the country. So we decided to compile a list. And we may know someone in your area. If you go to jeffslist.com, you'll be able to type in your address and we can see if there's somebody in your area that we know. Anyway, enough about that. The Windsor Pinnacle Sliding Door. Okay, so Windsor makes this beautiful sliding door. Uh, we're in this house where the doors were all rotting and uh, it was just getting tired, you know? They were made out of wood and of course, in this area we get a lot of rain every year and so obviously wood is not good. Now a lot of these were covered, um, but when you, know, when you start replacing one or two that are really bad, now you have some inconsistencies and so it's time to actually kind of replace all the doors on this house. Windows are possibly next because they're, they're getting tired too. Windsor is a 60 year old company based out of West Des Moines, Iowa. They're not too far from Pella, Iowa. If you're familiar with Pella, Iowa or not, um, that's where Pella, Pella windows are made. And um, so, you know, kind of that part of the country, some great crafts, uh, crafts, many people that have been doing this kind of work for a long time. And Windsor is uh, a direct competitor, not as well known as Pella, but a lot of similar products. So if you're familiar with Pella, you know, you ought to maybe just take a look at the Windsor just to compare and see what some of the differences are. So this comes in an aluminum exterior, okay, with a natural wood finish or paint or stain on the inside. So if you want weather protection, right, you don't want to go back with a wood product, you can go back with a wood product on the interior, which I'll show you in just a minute. But on the outside, you're going to have a nice aluminum cladding that helps prevent any moisture from getting on this wood and therefore keeps it from deteriorating. So it's a pretty cool deal. Because it has this exterior cladding, you're gonna be able to get a 20 year warranty on this product uh, against the rot and the peel and the flaking and chipping. This is actually a powder coat finish. Um, the powder coat finish, sorry about the noise in the background, we're putting in more doors. The powder coat finish is actually applied to the surface using AMA standard 2604 which means it's a great product. Uh, imagine you could call that two coats of paint because there's also an AMA standard 2605. This is a 2604, they also make a 2605, which is just to use simple terms, let's call it three coats of paint, okay? That's not what it is, but I'm giving you an example. The 2605 being the next level up of 2604 actually comes with a 30 year warranty, okay? It looks the same, it doesn't look better, it's just gonna be more durable and sometimes if you're in a caustic climate, a place where there's a lot of salt in the air and you have things that are going to um, maybe need more protection from elements, the 2605 is a good way to go. Now, a lot of companies make roll formed aluminum, meaning that this aluminum is actually not really thick and heavy. It's actually made out of like a much thinner product and roll formed aluminum, while it's not bad, extruded aluminum is superior to roll formed aluminum because it is stronger, it's more robust. It also gives a better surface for the uh, coating to go on so that it can feel more natural, it can feel richer, it can look better, and it looks uh, stronger. I, I like it. Now, as far as colors are concerned, this product actually can come in 60, that's right, 60 different colors. And so 10 of those colors being uh, um, what we call anodized aluminum instead of this 2604, 2605 powder coat finish. I'll explain that to you when we talk some more, but anodized or powder coat, total of 60 colors. And then guess what? There's one more color, it's your favorite color because they can actually do custom colors on this. It can get a little pricey because there's like a whole setup and they have to change out and clean up the whole line. So you wouldn't do it for one or two doors, but if you're, you know, if you're doing a house full or you're doing a dozen doors or half a dozen doors, 
it might be worth considering a custom color if, if that's important to you and what you're doing. Now, this particular product in this home, they chose to have these grids on the surface. And I like that. Some people don't like it. Some people do like it. It has to do with the character of the house, the style of the house, and just how much charm you want on your doors. One of the things that uh, this company does is they make several different grid widths, several different grid depths. You know, how far does it come out from the glass? And they also make several different grid configurations. Almost any configuration you can imagine they can do. Now you see this little plastic stuff on here. This is not dirt on the glass. This is actually a protect product that they protect the glass with during shipping. And until we're completely done here, we're not going to take it off. So once we're all done, we'll take that off. We'll clean the glass and it'll look beautiful. Now, most sliding doors you've seen actually have a wider, look at this. They have a wider kick plate, if you want to call it a kick plate. Now, this is actually called a style, S-T-I-L-E, but they have a, a wider one. Most of the time, it's somewhere around nine inches on a, on a typical door. And so, instead of being nine inches, you can see that this one is uh, four and a half, maybe four and a quarter um, tall. So, this is what they call their, their narrow profile uh, door. Instead of looking so traditional, this looks a little more contemporary. Now, what I like about this, this homeowner did, this is brilliant, right? Is they decided to go with a more contemporary door, but look traditional and in, and in compliance, if you will, with the style of home they have. So now we call this transitional. So you could have contemporary, you could have traditional, and when you kind of blend some of that, you have what we call transitional. Great place to be in a house, because if you ever go to sell the house later, you're not gonna offend anyone here. A traditional guy loves it, a contemporary guy loves it, and get the best of both worlds. I like that. Now, why sliding door? Why not French doors like they had before? Well, a couple of great reasons why. When you think about a sliding door versus a hinge door, the hinge door is never really gonna have that narrow profile on the bottom. There's a few exceptions, but it's gonna have that bigger profile on the bottom, and it kinda needs that because it has to swing out and it's carrying more of a load, and there's more support needed for something like that. Another reason that people are going with sliding doors over French doors is that a sliding door doesn't take up any of your floor space. See, when I open that door, it's just sliding up against itself. If I had a hinge door, right, if the hinges were here on the left and right, and it swung open like this, I've got this to contend with, I've got this to contend with. So now, and also when I go in and out of that door, I have to swing that door open and I have to go around it, then I have to come in and then I have to pull it behind me. Whereas in a sliding door, I don't have to go around it. I open the door and I step stay straight through. If you live here 100 years, you're saving four steps a day times 365 days a year times 100 years. Gosh, um, this is gonna be better on you when you walk around. Um, I don't know where that humor came from. It's really not very funny, is it? Um, give me a joke in the comments, something funny. Okay, so if you wanna come in, come in and I'll talk to you about the inside for a minute. Now this is the inside of the door, and by the way, it just it moves near effortlessly. One of the things that uh, Windsor has done with this, and I really like it, is they've, they've tried to minimize as much as possible the force it takes to open the door. Now when you open a door, there's, it's measured, the force is measured in two areas. One is the initial force, the starting force, you know, the get it off the ground force. And, and so when you first pull, this is a little harder to pull. Once it gets open, it's easier to open. Now you would ask, well, why is that, Jeff? Well, because when it's closed, this is sliding into this weather stripping that's right here, right? So actually it's going to obviously need more force to compress a weather stripping. So you have weather stripping on this side. See, there's one here. And then you have weather stripping on this side. They're a little bit different because they do a little bit different purpose on each end. Obviously this bigger weather stripping is on the outside where you have uh, more possibility for water to try to come in and penetrate into the house. So when this closes, it takes a little more force to get it started, but once it's open, it really, I mean, I'm doing one finger here, right? I mean, it does take a little force because it does have some other weather stripping and stuff on the top, but when it's closed, you've got a really good seal and it takes just a little bit of effort to get that open. Okay, something else I wanna point out to you, come check this out. So, you know, people say all the time, well, if I buy a sliding door, isn't that easier to break into? Don't they just like, somebody can like lift it and pull it out? Well, no, they can't. And here's how we prevent that from happening, a little extra security. So when the door's closed, this little pin will push in, all right? And the reason that pushes in is because 
it now allows me to open and, and to lock and unlock the door. If that pin weren't pushed in, I can't do that. And that's good because I don't want this to be sticking out and I walk by and catch my shoulder on it. So they're thinking about that. So, but when that's pushed in and I lock this door, you'll notice it has these two hooks. Now look at those hooks, see how they come out? One comes out and hooks downward, the other one comes out and it hooks upward. Well, why is that important? Because if you tried to lift the door off from the bottom to lift and push in, you can't because this holds it in place. If you, if you try to like pull it from the top down, it's not gonna go anywhere. So I like that. Now see on this side over here, come around the side over here, I want you to see this. This is, this is where that pin pushes in right there, right? And then this is where the one hook goes downward, the other hook goes upward. Now right now we just put a starter screw in here because we still need to adjust this up and down. See, it's got a little slot there. But once we get it in the spot we want it, have a nice long three and a quarter inch screw that goes through here and here, and it goes actually back into the framing. You know, we're not relying on the strength of this frame, we're relying on the strength of the house. Back here, you've got some two by six construction in there, and we're gonna go all the way into that and bite it really good. That also prevents somebody trying to come in here with a crowbar and just see if they can pull this thing open. Safety, security, these are important things to people, to homeowners, you know. And if, if, um, if you're like a lot of my clients, maybe one of, one of you travels and the other one's home alone, sometimes for days or weeks at a time, having that peace of mind that, you know, I've got that extra layer of security is, is important. It's, it's really good. Now, the inside comes in three different wood species, okay? And in this particular case, it was, it was just pine because we're trying to match the rest of the stuff in the house. We were able to stain this. We stained it in our, we have a paint booth inside our distribution center where we can custom stain or custom paint the products before we come out to your house, right? Now there's more work to be done once we're here. Like for example, here the trim board you can see has not been stained at all. So there's still some minor work to do in the house, but not as much if we can do it there. They also ha uh, happen to offer this in some painted features, some painted colors from the factory. A, a few choices, two to three, but you can actually, we can get this already pre-painted from the factory if you just wanted like say a black or a gray. Uh, or a white, or we can get it primed already from the factory if we're gonna go ahead and paint it. So it saves a step and saves a little bit of money on labor. But one of the things I like about letting them paint that, if, if, it, you know, if they have one of the colors you want, is they have this really cool machine from Germany. I think we've got some footage of that, we'll insert it here. They get this really cool machine from Germany that actually uses robots to paint the wood and it sprays it on. And it's kind of like uh, going to Detroit and having your car painted, right, by GM versus you and me doing it in your garage. I mean, think about their equipment and how much they do it. So that's kind of a cool feature too. We'd still need to do some touch up in the house, but kind of having the door come pre-painted sometimes saves them some money and it also gives you a really uh, unique finish. Almost looks like a grand piano. Not that good, but looks like a really grand piano finish. I really like that. Um, kind of one of the closing things I wanted to mention about this is that we can have different grids too on the inside than outside. On the inside where the house is a little more traditional, we went with a little more traditional grid pattern. This is an OG, they call it grid pattern, right? Uh, and on the outside, it's a little more contemporary than this. And on the inside, in some cases, we actually use a, a little bit wider, or we might use a lot wider, or we might use a more steel look where it's more pointed on this grid. We might use an actual flat grid, which is even a little more contemporary. So, man, if there's something you want, I bet Windsor can do it. What a great company. What a great product. Now, remember that a door like this is only as good as its installer. Uh, a great door, a great window with a bad installer is a bad door. <laughs> it's a bad window. <laughs> When this leaves the warehouse, the quality control is over. I mean, now it's out in the field. It's up to the guy you hire to do the job. So, hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your time. If you live in the Houston area, why don't you come by our showroom? I've got lots of samples to show you. We have over a dozen brands to choose from. Kind of like the CarMax of windows and doors. We don't shove one down your throat. We try to be helpful. We treat you with honesty, with dignity, and with respect. Hey, don't forget to check out JeffsList.com if you don't live in Houston. And if we can help you in any way, please let us know. Thanks for watching and have a great day. We'll talk again real soon.